If you're like me and you want to have all the latest tech gadgets, or you're interested in home automation, definitely check out the amazing products at wifiplug.co.uk and make sure you use code MANGO10 for 10% off your order. Hey there, what's up guys? This is Jesus Mango, and in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys 5 more features that I believe should be added to GTA Online with future updates. Now if you haven't seen the first 5 new features video that I made, then definitely go check that out after watching this, I'll leave the link in the description. And if you do go on to enjoy this video, then be sure to smack that like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new and you like my GTA 5 content. With that said, let's get it started. Alright, so the first feature I'd like to see added is the ability to stay in hotels. Now this idea would be mainly specific to people with lower levels that maybe couldn't yet afford the apartment they wanted, but did want to be able to start buying cars and having the ability to store them somewhere without having to spend hundreds of thousands if not millions of dollars on the apartment that they wanted. Players would be able to pay per night at a hotel and have access to a hotel room without having to pay a massive upfront cost, but unlike an apartment, if you couldn't pay the fee, then you wouldn't just lose access to the utilities in the room, but because it's a hotel, you would be kicked out of your room and lose access to the cars that you'd stored in there until you were able to check back in elsewhere or buy an apartment with sufficient garage space. Now I personally believe that this would be a good option for lower level players, because this way they are not limited to a simple 2 or 6 car garage, and could have access to a temporary 10 car garage while they saved up for a real apartment. Ok so the next feature I'd like to see come to GTA Online is the ability to buy real mansions, not just stilt houses or bungalows in the Vinewood Hills, but real mansions. So you might be able to buy Devin Weston's mansion or even Michael or Franklin's house from single player. There are a ton of mansions and amazing houses in the Vinewood Hills and it would be absolutely amazing if we could finally purchase them. Now if you didn't already know, there's already a website in game that sells mansions and luxury houses called LennyAveryReality.com. Now to my knowledge this website isn't yet active in GTA Online, but if mansions were ever brought to GTA Online then this website could be used in a similar way to the Dynasty 8 website which is used currently to purchased apartments and other houses. In terms of garage space, I think the mansions would work in a similar way to the stilt houses in the fact that they'll all have a 10 car garage despite what they'll look like they'll have from the outside. Also just think of how fun it'd be if mansions came with little mini games available to play inside. So that'd be games like darts, arm wrestling or even pool or table tennis. Personally I think that this would be a great addition to GTA Online and finally add more functionality to the apartments besides just being used to host online heists. Next up on the list we have the ability to apply decals or create custom liveries for our cars. Now in a way there's already a very basic way to do this and that's with the crew emblems. So usually your crew emblem is there to represent you and your crew, but if you're just lucky to get some artwork on your car, then the crew emblems can be a very basic way of doing this. But I'm talking about having access to a whole new editor to create custom stickers and have access to apply them to any part of the car and in pretty much any position and scale. Now a game that does have this feature is Forza Horizon 2 so if you don't know what I'm talking about then definitely go check out some gameplay of that just to see the amount of customization available to you in terms of creating a unique car. But in terms of GTA Online Rockstar could implement a system where we can create custom stickers via the social club website, kind of like when people create crew emblems, only this editor would be for stickers that could then be pushed to the game and applied to either specific vehicles or better yet any vehicle. Moving on to the next feature and that's to have the ability to access locked interiors. So the reason that this is on the list is because from going around GTA Online free mode we can see the inside of the interiors that we have access to in single player but we don't have access to them in online. Which is really unfortunate because if you think about it, if we were able to access places such as nightclubs, the FAB building or even just the Life Invader offices then it would open up new opportunities for players in GTA Online such as seeing how long you could survive inside the FAB building because obviously you'd probably get a wanted level when you went in or being able to simply role play a night out with your friends at one of the many nightclubs or bars found around Los Santos. Now I don't mean that we should have access to places such as the houses of the main characters from single player so that would be the houses of Michael, Franklin and Trevor but places such as the FIB tower and the life invader offices or even just the humane labs. The ability to access these locked interiors would also allow for free mode events such as King of the Castle to have more locations for players to try and hold up against other players. Ok so last but certainly not least we have an idea from my good friend Raging Apple and he wants to see the ability to host car meets in free mode. Now you might be thinking well why does this need to be a feature when we can do it already but players could start a car meet similar to the way that VIPs start VIP work 
and players could attend these meets to show off their cars and even earn money. And the way that this would work would be that there'd be an entry fee to the meet, then all attending players would vote for what they thought was the best vehicle there, and the player whose vehicle earns the most votes wins the pot of money made from the entry fees that players paid to get into the meet. In terms of how a car meet would work, I guess that there'd be an option in the, in the interaction menu to start a car meet, then the host could set the entry fee, the class of car, and maybe even the duration of the meet. Now I know that most car meets that happen in free mode now end up in fights and everyone's cars getting destroyed, but the way that this could be overcome is that everyone attending the car meet couldn't access their weapon wheel until the meet was over, and the people attending the meet were segregated from those not attending in a way similar to the way a penned in works. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, then when you enter the area to start the free mode event penned in, to people outside of the area, you show up as if you're in passive mode, which stops people not taking part in the event from interfering with the people who are taking part, and I believe that a similar system could work if it was applied to this car meet idea. Okay, so I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments. Do you have any features that you want Rockstar to add to GT Online in future updates? Let me know in the comments section below, and if I make another one of these videos, then I might feature your idea in that video. Anyways, that's all I have for you guys today. If you did go on to enjoy the video, then be sure to drop it a like rating, and if you're new around here, then be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you like my GTA 5 content. With that said, stay awesome, and I'll see you guys in the next video.